the uh, the things that you know that make the headlines I think for the most part the greater percentage of people do live you know happy and useful lives so it's just the but that's not news now and I think we live in rather mean-spirited times because of that yeah. um, you know the good solid honest um, life enhanced uh, life enhancing things aren't particularly valued but I, I wrote the book simply because I was asked to, and I, not just by one publisher, uh, by an American publisher at the beginning of one week and by a British publisher at the end of the week. Out of the blue, I'd never thought of it, and I thought, well... Why did they ask you? Why did they say they wanted you to do That's what I said, why? Uh, and they thought, well, there was an interesting story. I thought it was too soon, that you had to wait until you were, you know, long in the tooth and wizened and looking through rose-tinted spectacles. Then I thought, well, why not? It, why not now, while the blood and the enthusiasm is, is flowing, to see where one had been in order to make what lay ahead maybe that much more useful, yeah, where valuable? Was, going? was it a great voyage for you? It was a real travel book, yes, in more ways than one. Uh, and, and you've done love scenes with some very, very sexy ladies. Never any, yeah. never any temptations on the side? Never. I, I mean, you had absolutely nothing dishy or awful to say about anyone. Again, I didn't want to settle scores or to be mean-spirited. There's enough of that around. Uh, I, although I didn't pull all the teeth, otherwise I think it would just be mush. But <laughs> no, I, th uh, you know, I think there is. <laughs> but God, you were I actually, like the, you were Jim. very protective of the people in your book. I actually, where I'd written about people with whom I'd been emotionally involved, I sent them the manuscript and I said, if you want it out, it goes. If you want it changed, I'll change it. But. Very, very few people. Hardly a word got changed as a result. Because I think words, you know, it's like chiseling something in granite. It's there. It doesn't go it away. Is. Once you said it, it's black and white, there, it's you know. frightening. Can you tell us at all, Sheila, would you tell us at all about having, when you were invited to lunch by uh, oh. President <laughs> Kennedy? Was it President Kennedy? I'm sure Kennedy? I wasn't the only person. We all know that. <laughs> I know, but Why it was surprising story. to me is because, number one, Gordon was a rabid Republican. Uh, number two, my impression of Jackie Kennedy was a little risque. And I should have known that he had a better sense of humor and would have liked it. And I think that he was attracted to the Jackie that he saw, this very French, sexy Jackie that I played on stage with Gordon, my husband. Because the next morning, he had come back and said it was wonderful, and we took pictures and everything. And the next morning, around 10.30, he called, and I said, oh, Gordon's playing golf, he'll be so disappointed. You know, I think he was going to say how wonderful and whatever. And he said, yes, I know. He's playing at the burning, I would say bush, tree. <laughs> burning tree in Washington, D.C. <laughs> and I thought it was surprising that he knew that Gordon was at burning tree. But I thought, well, he is the president. He would know everything. And, and then he <laughs> said, well, um, how about lunch? And I said, well, Gordon won't be back till about 3 in the afternoon. He'll be very disappointed, you know not to be having lunch at the White House with you. And he said, well, not at the White House. Anyway, I had something more intimate in mind, uh, just you and me, and I can send the car for you if you like. I was really surprised. Because I was, strangely enough, for a woman who already had four children, a little naive, because I had had no one <laughs> other than Gordon McRae from the time I met him on my 16th birthday and got married. I was 17 and a half. We were crazy about each other. So I couldn't imagine. I used to say to Gordon, you know, I look around the room and no men have penises. And he'd say, what? I said, they don't. They're just like people. They're not like you are. You're to me the sexual dream. He was a sexual dream. I, I loved him. And I was shocked at the, and surprised that the president asked me, really. That the president had a penis, huh? <laughs> we'll be right back. I found that. <laughs> On the next Vicky. What can you tell your girlfriend that you can't tell anybody else? That they have food in their teeth? Celebrity best friends dish the dirt. It's, it's a tremendous relief when somebody knows everything about you and likes you anyway. <laughs> well, there are some things you just can't talk to a guy about. And I know Kathy, and she's just a little bit neurotic. But you can tell your best friend. Are you going to marry I'm him? Oh, no, no, don't ask me that question. <laughs> Only on Vicky. Wake up, call 976-WAKE. Get out of bed and get ahead. Use your touch-tone phone. Call 976-WAKE. We're the wake up that works. So why worry? Don't ever be late again. Call 976-WAKE. Do it now. Only $2 per call. Depend on us. 
Call 976-WAKE and wake up right. Wake up right. Wake up to us tomorrow. For service outside Chicago, call 1-900-976-WAKE. What's new for tomorrow? Is it music craft today? Sony's portable disc player with headphones is a great value at just $119. Music Craft gives you the best deal seven days a week. Technique's five-disc CD carousel features the latest technology and continuous play for only $178. See our ad in this Sunday's Tribune. Music Craft. Chicago Land Stereo Specialists. The Casablanca ceiling fan trucks are on their way, all the way to Littman Brothers for the biggest Casablanca truckload sale in Littman Brothers history. Want a Casablanca ceiling fan for half price? All Casablanca ceiling fans are half price now through Monday at Littman Brothers. We're bringing in truckload after truckload of famous Casablanca ceiling fans for this once a year sale. Truckloads of Casablanca ceiling fans for half price. And we've got every style and finish to take home today. The half price Casablanca truckload sale now through Monday at Littman Brothers. Three years in the making, a generation ahead of its time. And the Morrow Auto Mall is now open. Over 2,000 new cars, trucks, and vans have been marked down for a special sale now through the end of the month. Auto Mall customers buy with confidence, with no negotiating, a 30-day price protection, and a 7-day exchange policy. It's all in the mall, next to the Factory Outlet Center. The Morrow Auto Mall on I-94 at Highway 50. We're talking to celebrities who have told all in their books, you know, and we were just talking during the break, Shelley, and uh, I was saying that it's, it's fascinating to me that you were one of the original blonde bombshells. I mean, you know, you were just incredibly gorgeous, and, and most of those gals are gone, and you're still here, and well, you're a grandma. You know, Vicki... And how is that? Because I've studied all my life. When I came to films, I'd already done a lot on Broadway, and I had studied with very good teachers. And all the time that I've been here, I've had one foot in Hollywood and one foot in New York. I have an apartment there, and I studied at the Actors Studio the whole time. And one of the things you have to do is accept the age you're at and play... P it's very hard, because there's such a, a thing here about youth. In fact, I think I'm going to get my face lifted soon. I, never, I haven't yet. They just lift it on the side with uh, tapes. Uh, but it, it's like it's against the law to get older. I mean, everybody was so shocked. I had somebody at my party say, well, how does it feel to be 70? And I started to say, and then everybody went, oh, like she should have said it. So I said, well, as great as it, uh, Sally Kirkland. So I said, well, Sally, as great as it felt to be 50. Right. I mean, there are... There are things for each age. Well, beats and, the hell out of the alternative, I'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and I mean, I had a very wild youth, it's true. I, I was married during the Second World War to a navigator, and then he came here and saw that I was serious about being an actress, and he scuttled back to Chicago. And here I was divorced and alone. You're very lucky for what you've had. I was I, lucky. I haven't yeah. had it. I, I, well, I'll tell you a funny story. When I lived with Marilyn on Sundays, uh, is this the right time to tell this story? I don't know. Oh, we used to <laughs> listen to, to classical music till noon, and then, uh, no, we'd, yeah, we'd get culture till noon, and then we'd listen to Sinatra, Nat King Cole. And one Sunday, we were talking about how free men are about sex, and, you know, it's a double standard. I said, oh, that went out with the Second World War. And she said, no, it didn't. I think somebody had just published that picture of her, the nude calendar she'd taken. And I said, well, why don't we make a list of men we find attractive that someday in our life, maybe we would like to have an affair with. And she said, okay, that's a great idea. So we, we made two lists, we took an hour, and then we showed each other our lists. Well, she didn't have anybody under 50. <laughs> she, she had uh, Lee Strasberg and Eli Wallach, who was young, but no, no, I had all handsome actors. She had uh, uh, Einstein. Uh, uh, I mean, the great uh, Ralph Bunch, uh, uh, you know. Well, who'd you have? I had uh, Laurence Olivier, uh, La Al Flynn, Clark Gable, uh, uh, Albert Finney. Uh, I almost made all my list, it's the truth. <laughs> one guy on your list you regret not having gotten to? 
Do, well, do you know? I went to uh, Carol Flynn's house to a party. and uh, Not a party. I thought it was a party. It was just, uh, uh, you can read all about it in the book if you can find it. Uh, uh, with uh, Yvonne de Cullen, there was uh, somebody <coughs> else, a girl, and there was Errol Flynn, Clark Abel, and a uh, very handsome agent, Charles Feldman. And we went to the ladies' room, and she said, which one do you want to be with? Yvonne, and I thought about it, and all my life I had loved Clark Abel since I was a very young girl. And I thought about it and thought about it, and for some reason, I said Errol Flynn, because he, I loved him, I worshipped him like a hero. And I didn't want him to come down and be uh, an ordinary person. You know, and I guess if you sleep with somebody, you get to know them and they become an ordinary can person. can be disappointing sometimes, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> but well, Errol Flynn wasn't disappointing. Oh, <laughs> stop now. Listen. But it's strange to me that I made that choice. Even now at this age, I wonder why I didn't say Clark Gable. Well, we'll have that to talk to your psychiatrist about that. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I'm going to bring out a lady now who has been married so many times, the correct color for her wedding gown is probably plaid. <laughs> Please welcome Zsa Zsa Gabor. <laughs> The biggest medical news of the 90s may be a special group of vitamins called antioxidants. Because healthy bodies need antioxidants, like beta carotene, to help strengthen the body's natural defenses against cell damage. Centrum contains the complete antioxidant group, plus more vitamins and minerals than any leading brand. So eat right, and to supplement your diet, take Centrum, more complete from A to Zinc, and with the complete antioxidant group, more important than ever. Now here's an improvement, a new stronger defend. Isn't that great news? Boy, I'll say, it sounds like great protection. No kidding. Let's hear more. New stronger depend is the only undergarment with ultra absorb lock. Just look how much stronger this absorbent middle is compared to most others. Ultra absorb lock holds liquid in as it holds together. What a difference. Now that's strong protection. Ultra absorb lock only from new stronger depend. Get back into life. No matter what new cold or flu epidemic the media discovers, it seems I'm always one of those millions stricken by statistics. My colds are nasty. I need powerful relief, which means Benadryl cold. Benadryl cold gives me the doctor-recommended relief of Benadryl for my runny nose, plus maximum strength relief for congestion and pain. And that puts me in another set of statistics, the millions of people who believe in Benadryl. When colds come on strong, Benadryl cold comes on stronger. Overwhelming evidence indicates that the cure for the disease of illiteracy is the restoration of intensive systematic phonics in every classroom in America. Learn to read with Hooked on Phonics, the musical reading program. Then, read to learn with SRA reading comprehension used by over 60 million people. Hooked on Phonics worked for me. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. The power of Bravo Boss. New 7 amps, onboard attachments, zaps dirt above or on the floor. Big power, low price. Bravo Boss by Eureka. Dean's, the Dean of Dips, America's favorite brand. Look for all the great flavors in the refrigerated case. Dean's, the Dean of Dips. Vicky show. You had to do this? I told you you couldn't park inside the NBC lot, Miss Gabor. Why can't I, if Jay Leno can? Well... Why don't you give him something right now? Goodbye, office. It was nice meeting. How did, how did she oh. do that? <laughs> I, I, I got it before I was even in jail three days. Just, just don't hit me, okay? Just don't hit me. Poor baby. Poor darling. <laughs> Are you <Wow>. gorgeous? <laughs> he is pretty cute. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It's pretty gorgeous. This is good. Oh, is that something? Aren't these just terrible, these They're stools? really horrible. You are the boss, you should put your foot down. <laughs> You're 
right, you know? Said this up, terrible chance we're all going to fall off. I know. I hope they're insured 